Welcome to another episode on our channel. We are Twin Paranormal, and tonight we are doing something that we haven't done in almost two years. Family Nightmare Episode! Yeah! Holy Scouts, it's time to get serious. I wasn't prepared for the time to get serious after you said Holy Scouts. I don't know, a long time ago I was in Boy Scouts. And this is what happened. You're saying it's a man with a hammer? That's when my son said it was a tall man with a hammer. And that's when we started getting a little worried because he was able to see it. Shut the f up! Shut the f What do you want from them? You can't hurt them. At this point, I think it's something probably beyond that. No Wait. Oh my god! You cannot harm us in any way. Who's the hat man? Get out. Get out! You need to give us answers. The dark man. The tall man was trying to take him in the closet. Yeah, yeah. What the? There's a hand on the. Are you gonna hurt the mother? Mother family? God, dude! Who are you after? Wife. This family is going through something that is way worse than your typical household haunting. From poltergeist activity to seeing full-bodied apparitions and even going as far as being physically attacked. And there's one other thing that absolutely terrifies almost all of them, and that is seeing this hat man standing in the closet with a hammer. And nobody knows where exactly he came from, but before we get too much into detail, this is their story. Ever since the Alvarez family moved into this house, they've been dealing with some sort of evil entity. These hauntings have gotten so bad that they decided to take actions, yet nothing has worked. Their final decision was to give us a call to find out if we can do anything to help. This is the Alvarez family story. Everything started when they began to notice little things that would happen around the house that were definitely not normal. They would hear strange noises and find objects were moved around the house in places where they weren't supposed to be. They didn't think much of it until something horrifying happened. One night, as the family was going to sleep, some of the children's toys began to turn on and play by themselves. Specifically, a book. This book is a kid's toy that's designed to speak only English, and out of nowhere, it began to speak entire sentences in perfect Spanish. We were like just sitting here watching a movie, and it just started speaking fully Spanish. That was the first time it actually talked. Words that the toy doesn't say. Do you know what it's saying? It was saying like, oh, hi, let's have fun. I want to have fun with you, and let's play. It's time to play. But in Spanish, especially at night, they'll go off. So we kind of got freaked out. Apparently, as we were told, the words that were coming out of that book translated to come play with me and come have fun with me. Now this disturbed the family so much that they actually got rid of every electronic kids toy that could possibly play by itself. As time went by, the hauntings actually started getting worse. The Alvarez family heard what sounded like a loud bang coming from the kitchen as if it were an explosion. When they went to see what happened, they discovered the doors to the fridge were wide open and every single item was on the floor. The fridge, it just like exploded or something. I just told my husband, like, please tell me you're in the kitchen. And he's like, nope, right here in the living room. So we walked to the kitchen, huh? All of our food was on the floor. Like Whoa. the fridge was like wide open. They know that no one was in the kitchen at that time and they said that the refrigerator doors were very hard to open, so this was no accident. Eventually, many of the children in that family began to see this entity, and it all started with the oldest son. And throughout time, all of the children would describe seeing the exact same thing, without telling each other what they had witnessed. What they had been experiencing, they actually described as a tall black shadow figure with glowing red eyes, wearing a top hat, and holding a hammer. You're saying it's a man with a hammer? That's what my son said. My son started saying like he was seeing this figure, like it was a tall man with a hammer. And that's when we started getting a little worried because he was able to see it. One day I was laying in bed with my son. He's three years old and he was like, mom, who's the man? And I was like, what man, baby? I thought he was watching his iPad. And he goes like, that man's standing right there in my closet. I dropped my phone and I was like, what man? And I looked and there was nothing there. He was like, yeah, look, he's staring at me. He's smiling at me, mom. It's just like a regular small little closet. Okay, so this is our room. 
So you can see that we can see directly where yeah. we can see. Yeah. So they've described it up there. They've described it up here once. My older son, he said the one he saw is evil because his eyes were like red. That's how my nephew described it too. Now most of the children are terrified of this entity. In fact, one of them actually said that this shadow man had tried to lure him into a closet when he was in the room alone. He was sitting down right there playing with those toys. He was just screaming, like crazy screaming. We came in running and he was like not even talking. He was just pointing to the closet and he said the tall man was trying to take him in the closet. And not long after, the adults of the house would start to see things as well. This leads to what the mother described as a childlike spirit. Because of what's been going on inside this house, they believe that this is not at all a childlike spirit. They actually believe that this entity is in fact evil and could possibly be a demon. Things in the house started to become more aggressive. Sometimes the family would wake up and realize that they had strange bruises or even deep scratches somewhere on their body. Do you guys ever wake up with like bruises, scratches? I do have a picture of one of the scratches, but that was something that I didn't know I even had. I just kind of pulled my pants, had like pretty deep scratches. That's the one time I have woken up with uh, scratches and I've never experienced that. Now the father of this family has no idea where these scratches came from, but he does know for a fact that he did absolutely nothing to cause them. And this family's nightmare doesn't stop there. One day after coming home from work, the father of the family walked into the home only to be immediately hit with the powerful smell of gas. Rushing through the house in a panic, he realized that his whole family was asleep. And when he went into the kitchen to look for himself, he realized that every dial on the stove was turned on. But luckily, there was no flame. This was really early in the morning and I remember walking in and the smell of gas hit me like hard. It hit so hard at the door that like my eyes kind of started tearing up. I went straight to this door, busted it open, and woke everybody up. I said, everybody get out. So I went straight to the kitchen, and the only pilot that was working was the one that was turned on. It was turned on, but there was no flame. If you were to walk in there when that happened, that smell of gas stopped at the door. There was nothing under that covering it. It just stopped there. That was probably, my personal opinion, the worst. At that point, it got dangerous. This is when they realized that something was horribly wrong, and that this entity was trying to harm them. If there was a flame during that time, he could have possibly lost his house and his entire family with it. I'm freaking out. Like I really getting to the point where like I wanted to move out. At first the stuff that happened was like just little small things where you kind of just get used to. But at this point I think it's something probably beyond that. Like it's not easy to just say hey, you know let's just get up and go and find somewhere to live. Like it's not easy so you're kind of just stuck just dealing with it. This thing came out full force whatever it was. That's when we kind of knew okay this thing's not nice. There are so many other horrifying stories that this family has been dealing with throughout the years. Once again, the father of this family had dealt with something that scared him to his core. While making his way from the kitchen to the living room holding his youngest son, he had noticed out of the corner of his eye a white mist circling above him. He had then stopped in his tracks and felt like something took over his body. He described an intense feeling of hatred and anger, all the while his son had started crying uncontrollably. He had then forced his way to the living room and everything had completely stopped. Stopped. The mist had disappeared, his son had completely stopped crying, and he had said it felt like something had let him go. Our youngest, he wasn't walking, so I was still holding him, and just crossing from the kitchen, um, there was a few candles he had ever lit. I was holding him, and I got stuck in that room standing. The way I describe it is, like, my mind wanted to keep walking and not look at where I'm at. I just wanted to keep going straight. I wanted to make my way to the living room, and I can see it from the corner of my eyes, like, it was like a white mist, call it, and it was just swirling in that room just everywhere. At that point, my son started fussing. He started just randomly crying. That's when I felt anger, I felt rage. I just felt like my blood boiling. This is one of the most intense stories of a family haunting that we have ever heard. And during our time inside of this house, the family had requested that we gather as much information as possible, but they explicitly asked us not to cleanse the house. They tried to do this once before and said that it made the activity so much worse and so much more aggressive. They don't believe that this thing will leave and they don't think that there's anything that could force it to. So our goal here tonight is to find out what kind of information we can gather and see what this 
this thing wants and who this thing wants. But before we do jump into this episode, if you guys are not subscribed to our channel, yeah, you keep finding yourselves coming back, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are on our way to 1 million. And let's just say us as a family are growing very fast. Also, if you do enjoy this episode, please make sure you do hit the like button because that lets us know that you are enjoying what we've been up to. And every week, we like to shout out three of you beautiful people. Here, here, and here. If you guys would like to be shouted out on next week's episode, all you need to do is go to our Twin Paranormal Instagram account, follow that account, go to the latest post, heart that post, and comment down below. Hashtag a family nightmare. We love each and every one of you so much, and we hope you enjoy this terrifying episode. Now that we have some information on what is going on inside this house, it is our job to try and find out who this person is and what they want with this family. Wyatt! I don't even need to look. River's gone, isn't he? Can you see me? No. It was on the night of March 27th, approximately 9.30 p.m. Where two, three young men... Ah, uh, two young men and a grown adult went and faced this monster and Wyatt cried. I hope not. And Wyatt cried. I cried. <laughs> what exactly does this family want from us? What they want is to just try and get some information on who it is. They want to know why it's messing with them. They have no idea what's going on in here. That's what you got out of all that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure they want us here so that they can use us as bait. Bait? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put your hands together, boys. We have not done a Family Nightmare episode in a long time, so let's see if we are rusty as f or we're actually still good at it. Or if we're crusty as f I mean, we're always crusty as f mm, I beg to differ. On the count of three. One, two, three. It's, it's time, time to try and solve this shit. Don't make us want to quit. If he's in the closet, then why will throw him his wallet? I gotta throw him my wallet. You might have money, I don't. You pulled out some cash. We're just gonna bribe the ghost to not mess with us? No, not with us. With them. Fine, I'll do it. Let's go. You might be wondering why the three of us strangers are here in this home. Now, we were contacted by the Alvarez family who lives here because they told us that they are dealing with some sort of spirit, some sort of entity, We heard that while we were doing the interview. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They want to know why you are here. I want to let you know right now that we are not here to get rid of you because the family already told us that you will not leave. But the least you can do is have a conversation with us because we have these special devices, these objects that give you the ability to show us where you are and also use your words. And that's the first thing I'm going to bring out. So this device right here in my hand gives you the ability to use your words, whether it's one word or a whole sentence. And if you can be so kind and talk to us, give us some information, because maybe you have something to tell this family, and maybe you guys can reason with each other to where you guys can live in this home and they won't be so scared of you. They feel like you want to hurt them. And the kids in this house, they won't even sleep in their own beds because of you. So who are you? Where are you? Okay, I'm starting it. Oh, hmm. my body just completely chilled up, dude. I was gonna say right, like after you started talking about how they feel threatened. Yeah. The vibe like right here dude. got weird. I had this feeling like somebody was looking at us, so I put my camera. Agree. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. To you, reason. Yeah. So you're saying that you want to reason with them. Can you maybe make yourself known? They said that you can knock things down. Maybe you could do that for us. I felt that. That was in the kitchen? Yeah. Kitchen. What? What? Nobody just saw that? No. What? Dude, somebody just walked in front of the window. Shut the f no, I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Like on the other side? Outside? Outside. Outside. Are you here? No. Outside? That's impossible. What's out there? Take a look with your eyes. Oh, this is way too high up. You wouldn't even be able to see. And there's a bunch of stuff right there. I just saw that. I'm so f***ed that I wasn't facing that way. Are you sure that- Listen to my voice. Listen to my voice. What do you want? Are you sure it wasn't in here in the living room? I mean, honestly, you have a point. It might have been, because it just- All I saw was the window go black. Are you willing to maybe make a loud noise for us? If you do, that'll help us understand where you are right now. 
Haunt room. <gasps> the kids, kids room. room. Is that what you're saying? Can you make that device or one of the devices go off on the bed? Just touch them. Push some of your energy through anything on that bed, please. There's a toy on the bed, a toy car. If you can touch that to let us know that you are in there, we would be grateful. We come with no disrespect in any way. In fact, I'll introduce myself and the two others here. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Maybe you can give us your name. Give us a description of what you look like. The children in this house had told their mother what you look like, what they've seen. So maybe you can tell us the same thing. Are you in the room next to us? Behind this? What? It just said Barry. Dude, during the interview. We are watching you. What? We are we? watching you. We? Hold on. They did mention that he is not the only one here. Well, and one of the children said that the man came from down there. And the kid was in his room and he pointed down under the closet. We were talking amongst ourselves, thinking that there might be someone or something down there in the crawl space. Don't move. I feel that. I do too. I'm getting a really weird feeling. Yeah, it's got a kind of a bad vibe to it, doesn't it? Think of this though. They have to live with all this every day. It's kind of almost more intense than being in the- Shut the f up! Guys. What? I just heard a hey. Like a hey. It sounded like a hey. Did they hear my voice? Are you back there? Bad. Bad! Did you just hear the door? If you're in there, can you open up that door for us? Aside. Beside the door? Earlier, I was trying to say that I had a weird vibe when it said we are watching you. And I kept pointing my camera because the door's cracked like this. Dude, like something in the back of my head was like, look in the crack of the door. You know what I'm saying? Like someone would just be there with like half of their face in the crack of the door. Can you touch that toy car that's on the bed, please? I see the light. Dead. The dead. dead. A cat ball's going off. No way. I could see the lights reflecting on the ceiling. Touch the toy car, please. Use your energy, manifest everything you can. If you are powerful enough to harm this family by scratching them, then you are powerful enough to just touch a device and set it off. I'm over here. In that room? Prove it, please. What if they're behind you or in this room, man? Get out now. What the f What? Is that the dude? My body again. Mine too. Did you catch the shit? This is crazy. I'm confused. Dude, that sounded like something got dropped, thrown, moved, or whatever. And then there was those heavy footsteps right after it. Please touch that device. Did you just hear that door? Right when you went and you pointed at that dude, you could hear the door like a, a barely creak. Yeah, that's what I heard the first time. Go on, open it please. If you need any energy, use the devices that we're holding in our hands. There's something- Share my story. Who? Share- I don't remember. Share my story, I don't remember. What was that? I don't know. That's in the room, dude. Oh, you know what? They've had things happen in the bathroom as well. Something locked that door from the Wait other- Wait here. Wait here. As I was saying, something locked that door from the other side. And it has a latch lock. Thank you for visiting. Hmm. Are there more spirits or entities in this house than just one? Nightmare. Nightmare. Oh, guys, no. The mother of this home had a dream of a woman who was hurt. Are you here? Crazy. She's had nightmares every time she sleeps on this couch. Can somebody please confirm that there is more than one spirit, more than one energy, entity, whatever you are, whoever you are, can you please do that? That was in there? No. That was running. Imagine it's from the parents' bedroom. Oh, 
down to the closet. That was fast running. They did say something about a child form. Mm -hmm. Taking the child form. But here's the thing. I mean, I feel like if there's an evil entity that the children themselves are seeing, then like... I'm only seven. Whoa! Oh, I was just talking about... That's weird. So there is a child here? What if they're just saying that? True. We're trying to gain some trust here. Please, talk to us. Give us a sign where you'd like us to go, please. Do you want us in that room? Right next to us? Do you want us in the bathroom? Or do you- We want to- What the f is happening, bro? This happened literally last week. And it stopped? And we want to. Want to what? Huh? What are you trying to say? That was f Did you just f hear that? Phenomena. Dude, whoa, 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 what the f was that? What did you just do to our- <laughs> They just cussed at us, dude! Shut the f That's not in real. The room. That is trap. Trap. That's not real. Did you just say trap? Who's in here? Dude, I'm not feeling good here. Walker. Walker, we just heard what sounded like running and footsteps. Who's in here? Did you hear that? What did you, you hear? You didn't hear that? Uh-uh. That sounded like somebody laughing, like snickering oh, great. under their breath. Love that. Make yourself known, please. Run. Run. Dude. Dude, Run. some, I'm um, sure. <laughs> True. I'm pretty sure something's in the kitchen right now. It was either in the master bedroom or that was in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We caught that. If you're in the kitchen, can you knock something down? <gasps> oh, by the closet? Are you in the closet? Is that where you want us to go? <gasps> nope. Nope. Oh, I'm not feeling good. This is not. Shut the f up. Next room. Next, Next room. room. In here? Three o'clock. Three, three, three. Oh. Part of the interview. Next. Next. What the sh is going on? It's the next room next. I'm gonna stick this in the kitchen. Ah, oh, I don't wanna be the last one in here. I'm just gonna stick it in here real quick. I'm, I'll stick it right here. Did they just make that Jeep go off? What's that device? What's what that device? device? Um, this device is basically the same as that toy car on the bed. All you need to do is touch this metal rod, and it'll start to light up different colors here. All it does is detect you. Nothing will harm anybody here. I'm letting you know that right now. I promise. What are the odds? There's no odds, man. Oh my god, dude, my body won't stop. Yeah, do you feel it, my too? My body will not stop going in shock. <laughs> I feel it, too. It's kind of freaking me out. What's going on with this closet here? I don't know. I don't know. Let go, please. What? Can you do it again? Standing beside you. What? Standing beside you? Standing beside you. But it like said it really weird. No family. No family? Wait a second. Um. Are you picking somebody specific out of this family? Do you want just them? We're trying to figure out what you want. Shh. Worried. Worried? You need to give us answers. You need to tell us what you want. Why did you want one of the children to go in the closet? This is making me not feel good. Anxiety is real, dog. I missed talking. Uh, uh, I missed talking. What the f dude? What? Did that just- Your device just said, I've missed talking. And the other one said talkative. Yeah, talkative. And then it said, you will live. Did they just say that because I said the anxiety is real? They're like, ah, oh, don't worry, you'll live. Did you guys just hear that? Yeah. Who missed talking? In the back. In the back. Where? Make a noise, please. 
That's back there. I'm here with family. By any chance, any of the spirits here, are you with this family? Are they your family? I'm trying to make this make sense. Yeah. That's one, two. That's one hundred percent in here. I don't know if it's death. In, death. I don't know if it's in the room. It's definitely in the house. Are you in this closet? Certain. Certain. Why did you want one of the children to go in there? Is Wait. that up? One of the kids saw this entity on the ceiling once. That's right. Right up here. Do you plan on harming any of the children here? Can you let us know? Oh. Lord. Dangerous. What the f Are you talking about the entity? Off. The tall man with the hammer and the top hat. Wait a minute. Oh. Mother family. Mother family? Are you gonna hurt the mother? Dude, I just got the worst chills. You cannot harm this family. What do you want from them? You can't hurt them. Gosh. Dude, that was a closet. That was a closet. Isn't there a famous story about a hat man? There is. I wouldn't even call it a story. There is a, just like the word that came out of the device, a phenomena. Yeah. Thousands of people across the country have seen this same entity that y'all call the hat man. This entity typically shows up in homes with little kids, no? Yeah. Yeah. So what if this entity is the one from the stories? What if this is a different form of the boogeyman? Surprise. Surprise. What? That was kind of weird. Yeah. Like they were like, surprise. Help them. Help, Help them? We're trying. Okay, wait, what if? Some of their family is here and saying, please help them, this entity. There's definitely more than one spirit here or entity. I 100% know that there's something evil and then there could be one of their family members mm -hmm. or just somebody who does not want this family to be in danger. We want to speak with this hat man. We want you to prove to us that you're here. If you want, you can use my energy. I don't mind. As long as you can let me wear your hat. What the f Did you that? just hear that? Yeah, that was in the closet. If you're there, maybe you can move that curtain. Could you f imagine? I don't want that. I think I would f shit. I've been here 100 years. Oh! Whoa. Have you been here this whole time? 100 years. That's f crazy because they've been in this home for 50 years, no? Yeah. The property, yeah. The, pro the property. Pro <gasps> oh my f god. Oh my god! Ooh. Poltergeist! Whoa. Dude, three that of them. One, that one and then that one. I just literally got all of that. No, you didn't. Yeah. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. You cannot harm us in any way. We are here to get answers. I will leave. Oh! I will leave. What? What do you want in return? If you will leave, you want something, obviously. So let us know what it is. Can you make this stop, please? Thank you. Let's move away. Get out. Get out! What is happening? They just said they'll leave. I will go. Wallet. Oh, shut the f up! Shut the f up, dude! Can you let that go? Dude, what is happening? Careful, Ryan. Seriously, careful. What are you doing? Are you warning us? Dude, my body. Again, it's right here. It's right here when it keeps happening. That was a crazy touch. My life was taken. House. House. Whoa, wait. My life was taken. House. Did you die in this house? Should I reset it? I don't know what's going on. I'm doing it. Okay, I just reset this device. If you can do it again, just so that we can make sure it was you. That's what we're looking for. I don't know what that was. It was weird that it drew us out of that room. After it said, I will leave, said get out, and then that just complete full grab and would not stop. So yeah, 
definitely drew us out to here, but why? You want us here? Can't believe it said wallet. Yeah. Three. Three. Are you talking about us or you? Did you just hear that? Yeah. Do, do, do. Can you touch that device in the dining room again? The one you just held on to. If that was you. Please. There's more of us. There's more of us. So they were talking about us three. True. True. What the f Did anybody hear that? That was in this room. I, I know it 100%. I know it. Can you make that knocking again? 13. No, wait. Hang on. Hang on. There's more of us. More. 13. Yeah, dude. Didn't the wife... I have a dream the of mom, 13 women walking out of that 13 house. women walking out of this house after a priest did a cleanse in her dream in this home. And that priest is the neighbor that she's never seen in her life. What's even crazier is that she saw a picture of this priest and it was exact. I have a lot of dreams. The most freaky one that I cannot, it's just like, it's hard for me to talk about it because yeah. only my husband and Jasmine knows about it. I never told nobody. It was one day where I slept in the living room and when I have those dreams, I always, always wake up at 3.33 a.m. I had a dream with the priest next door, which I've never met, I've never heard of. I've never even seen him, how he looks. So in my dream, I was outside, we're having a, like a party or whatever, and then the priest came and then my mother-in-law in my dream said the priest is here maybe he could come bless your house since he's already here i'm like yeah that's fine so the priest goes inside my house and all i could see is just like something just going around like crazy speed just around 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 the walls were invisible i could see this from the outside i was standing outside and then the priest is just like fighting it i guess like praying and doing all these things his hair was crazy like he was really struggling to get rid of whatever's in the house so then we just see like 13 women get out of the house but so they walked through the kitchen and they went through the back and I still remember them because they were wearing white clothing with red hair and all they all looked the same and it was 13 of them what the f is happening man do you think they're pinpointing the mom I mean I sure hope not but if she's having these crazy dreams it's a possibility yeah that was right here. Who do you want out of the family that's living here? Who do you want? The man with the hat and the hammer. Who are you after in this house? We command you to tell us. Um, I'm not fully sure, but I think I just caught an orb in the kitchen right here in the dining room. No f way. That's a full grab. Huh? Who's in the dining room? What's your name? If there's 13 spirits here, somebody can give us a name, right? Please, don't be afraid. We're not here to hurt anybody. What the f is happening? Dude, I'm getting scared. Can I move? Where are you? We hear you. In one hour. Dude! Who are you after? Wife. Whatever it is, is after the wife. Everything's like pinpointing to her dreams, dude. Everything's starting to like make sense. Hiding. Hiding. Okay, wow. Not even just that. She's the one that mainly sees the crazy happening. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like things falling off shelves. What if that's why... I was running again. What if that's why her husband woke up with all those scratches? Maybe this thing's just trying to with her. 
like mentally, emotionally. Why do you want the wife of this house? If that's the case, why are you harming the husband and scaring the kids? What's the point of that? Can you answer that, please? What did you also get when it said wife? Because it said something over wife. In one hour. In one hour. Sorry, it, it just came to my mind. What? In one hour, what? I don't know. At the same exact time, it says in one hour. Here! I'm here! We will hurt. We will hurt. We! Multiple spirits? Who are you gonna hurt? Watch me. Watch me? Oh boy. You cannot harm the wife, the mother of this family. You can't harm her. Unhurt. I am so confused what the f is going on right now and what the f that what did you hear that? Yes. Listen, I said you cannot harm the mother of this family, the wife. And they said unhurt after they said hurt. Where did you come? I understand you. Oh you just basically implied that. So is there a possible way we can reason with you? Or this family can reason with you? For you to stop tormenting this family. If you will not leave, there has to be something. You're very aggressive. Are you jealous? Is that what's going on? Mother. Mother! Everything it keeps talking about. Dude, it's her, man. This thing wants her. Why do they want her then? Like, what's the reason? Tell us why, please. Give us a reason. They know who you are. They know who you are. Huh? <gasps> the sun watches our show every week. That's really weird, dude. That's insane. He watches us on this TV, man. Yeah. Who's the hat man? That is scary. That is scary. That is terrifying. What the f That was really weird. When it said they know who you are, you think it was talking about the family or like the spirits in here? I don't know. Regardless, either or, the family does know who we are and or the spirits or entities in this house could know who we are as well because we are seen on that TV. This TV right here. What do you want with the mother of this family? You can tell us. <laughs> What's so funny? You think this is a joke? Wild, dude. What are we gonna do, man? What is this? What is what? after they just touched the device? I explained what it was. Is this somebody else? That just shows us that you're around. Can you touch it again? It won't hurt you. We gotta find like a goal, like an objective that we can try to accomplish tonight. I mean, here's the objective. We're already figuring out a lot of information in regards to what we've been hoping, which is Something to do with the wife, the mom. So what the f did she do? I don't know, man, but that's what I asked during the interview. I said, what do you want? Like, what, what is it that you guys want from us? They said they want to know why. They want to know information. Why this thing is here and what it wants. So far, we've already gotten lots of information about the wife, the mother mm -hmm. of this home. Choke. What the f Choke? Choke. No, 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 no. That's really bad, dude. Dude, in the interview, Earlier, the device said, we will harm, watch me, right? In the interview, when he was talking about holding the baby son in the kitchen, when he got all angry, he said he felt like someone was choking him. No That's right. Do you plan on harming somebody? That's loud as We have this device that gives us the ability to hear what your voice sounds like. Are you willing to give that a try? To speak into that device and answer some questions? Because then we can hear what you sound like. Can you give us a sign that you're okay with that? Please. The Dark Man. I don't know. The Dark Man? It said it at the same exact time. As he's asking them if they'll come speak to us. Yeah. They're like, I don't know. Say yes! Afraid. I already told you, it's not gonna hurt you. I don't think they're afraid of that. They're afraid they're of afraid him. They're afraid of him. Dude, they're afraid of the dark Where is he? 
If the dark man's here, can you make yourself known? We're calling upon you. Show yourself. Mary. My name. Marie, my name. That's insane. Did it just say kitchen? kitchen? I heard that too. Are you in the kitchen? Help you. Help you. Oh god. My whole body is chilled. Are you in this kitchen? I'll just stay here. Yeah. Help us talk. Help us talk. The device. The device. The EVP. That's confirmation. You want to use it? You want to try? That's yeah. Can you touch that device right there on the ground? You are in danger. <gasps> oh. oh Who is? Is it because we're in the kitchen? It's not just me here. Oh, Morbid. Morbid. You're in danger. It's not just me here. I think whoever wants to talk, whoever just said, that is the one who's been warning the family, or at least the wife, said, help me, right? Mm -hmm. Was that you, Marie, in the dream? What is happening? I don't know. Guys? Yeah. What? The f display case right here. Uh-huh. I just heard a loud f up and it started rattling. Something here belongs to me. That's what we asked. What is it exactly? I don't mean harm. Marie. Marie, do you want to talk to us? Can you please give us a sign? Don't leave me in here by myself. Sorry. You dirty dangle. Here, you go first. Go down there. Yeah, you dirty dangle. You get attacked. Jesus, man! The f Well, you said you get attacked. Make me. Make me. Marie, do you want to talk to us? We have this device where you can use your words and we will actually be able to hear your voice. Would you like to give that a try? I'm not gonna forget what you just did to me. <laughs> Scared the <laughs> out of me, dog. I thought it was gonna die. Can you tap that device that's glowing red? We want to try something with you, but we just want to make sure it's okay. Please. Can't be here. Can't be here. Well, where do you want to do it? Where do you feel comfortable? Guys, something here belongs to me. I don't know if that's Marie saying and No, I don't think what so. What if? This is gonna f be freaky. What if this hat man, the dude that's seen in the closet with the hammer, has a hammer Read buried under the down house. under the house? That'd be wild. That'd be f***ed up. Having fun. Who, the hat man? I see that. I do hear that. Run! Run! I'm having fun. Run. <gasps> oh. That was a light tap. Yeah. That means they're not that close to it. You guys, we need to do EVPs. You guys want to do it? I mean, that was the sign that I asked for. Let's do some EVPs. To it. Okay, we are standing here in the children's room, right where they've seen the entity here in the closet, so that's where we're gonna do the first EVP. There is someone who likes to stand here in this closet. Can you give us a description of what you look like? To that entity, what are your intentions? Are they good or are they bad? Why do you not want to leave? There was a weird noise in the living room. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's group up here and listen to this. Okay. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. They're bad. Listen.
I don't know what it says. That's really weird. That was a full on sentence at the end. Play that one more time. Just that last one. That is a hard one. Guys, you know what just freaked me the f out? Hmm. If you look at the beds, okay, this one in specific, you see where the kid would lay his head? Where the closet is. That f sounds like something is whispering. Imagine this kid laying their head down right there and hearing just this whispering right in their ear. That's so f sad. Yeah. Where do you want to do the next EVP? Well, we just started hearing a ton of noises in the, in the, in living, the living room. So that's oh. where we'll go. Hopefully they don't do that cat and mouse thing. They might be because one, we are strangers. And two, they might think that we are trying to get rid of them. Also, I'm assuming that they probably knew that we were coming. Mm -hmm. That is true. And whatever this dude is, I don't think he likes us very much. So he might be trying to like avoid it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like most of what we've been getting so far is like whoever else is in here talking to us. Let's go. Right where we're sitting, the mom of this family will go to sleep sometimes here on this couch, and she has dreams. Why is she having nightmares? How many spirits are here right now? Who is the one that hurts people? Why did you threaten us? Did you f see that? Yeah. I felt him coming. That was wild. I literally felt that coming. Let's listen to this. What the f Ready? Right where we're sitting, the mom of this family will go to sleep sometimes here on the couch, and she has dreams. Why is she having nightmares? How many spirits are here right now? What the f What was that? I think the one with the voice says something about more. That little part that you can hear, it sounds like more. Almost like what it was saying earlier. More, more. Maybe we should do one more EVP, one question right here, and ask again, what is giving this mom nightmares? I like how it didn't answer that one. Not literally. It went from that question right to mine. Yeah. Let's do it. What is giving the mother of this house nightmares? Okay, let's try. Did answer. Listen to it right after it says him. Right after you stopped. What is giving the mother of this town nightmare? Whoa. You hear it? It's him. It's him. It's him. Yeah. I just heard that. You in that back room? Did I heard it in the kitchen too when we were recording that one? No, there's that was loud as traffic going on in here. You guys want to go to the last spot real quick? Dude, I'm yeah. kind of nervous to go back in there. I'm not gonna lie. What we'll do is we'll stand there in the dining room and I'll just put, put my the hand yeah. in the doorway towards the kitchen. Yeah. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. We need some answers. What do you want with the mother of this house?
Are you the one that's throwing objects, their belongings, off of shelves? The man with the hammer. Tell us what you want. That was laughing. Woman! No. Woman! No, no. What? No f way. Man. Is it longer? No. That was it? Woman, Woman, right? <gasps> they definitely said woman. Why? I don't know, man. It's still not answering. It doesn't want to talk on the EVPs, to be honest. It definitely doesn't want to. I'm getting the chills again, dude. How do we get him to say something? I have no idea. Should we try and cut him a deal? What kind of deal would we make? I don't know. Well, that's what we were trying to figure out earlier, though, Wyatt. Saying, like, what can we do for you guys to, like... Coexist together. Yeah. Well, wait. They said wallet. You got your wallet? How much money you got? Honestly. It's like $26 in there. I mean, that's 26 more dollars that they didn't have. Can't even get a new hammer for $26. You don't know that? I do know that. To, <laughs> yeah? Okay, you go to a pawn shop? Exactly. Sorry, anyway. but when are you going to find a hammer at a pawn shop? What the f*** do you mean? There's all sorts of hammers. I say we set a couple more of our devices around. We got the bell. What the f*** was that? That was a loud f***ing bang on the wall, dude. That was a loud f***ing bang. I think that was in the parents' bedroom. I'm not gonna lie, I literally just saw my whole life flash before my eyes. Seriously. Guys, that was right on the other side of this wall. I think I my pants. Did dude. something fall on the ground or what? did what? something slam on the wall? I asked them to throw something. Oh. There's no way. Wait. We gotta look. We have to look. I swear on everything that was in the parents' room. Anything? I can't see anything. That sounded like something exploded. What the f was that? He loved. He loved. Run now. Oh! Again. Run now. Wait, the f Was that a warning? He loved. Leave soon. Leave, Leave soon. soon. Hold on. We just got the f ever living f scared out of us. He loved that we got scared. Maybe he feeds off of fear. There's nothing out of place. I control this place. Oh! Oh my god! Dog, that's not f Prediction the number three. Prediction the number three. Three. Dude, there's something in the kitchen right now. Are you in the kitchen? Is that where that noise came from? Dude. I called it, I called it. Oh my God, my arm is Dude. literally f Okay, imagine this. What? Did you not just hear that? No. That sounded like someone just jumped off the roof. Didn't they say during the interview that the refrigerator, they heard a loud pop noise. And everything was on the ground. Yeah. And everything was on the ground. Let's go f look real quick. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dead. dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. dead. Where did that noise come from? I'm leaving the f***ing light on down to the van. I'm tripping over everything. Fridge is not open. Oh. What? 
Did you just f hear that laughing? Ooh. Guys, dude, what the f was that? What? There's a can. There's a can on the f ground. No. There's a can. No. No. Okay, can anyone confirm that? I can't confirm. Wait, I can confirm. I did B-roll of the fridges. No f way, man. There's no way, dude. I stood right here. Unless if I f missed it. Unless if it's just been here. Yeah. Will you guys stand right there? I'm gonna drop the can. Oh, I see. You let me know if that's- Attic hides. What? Attic hides. Oh. Attic hides. Dude, he told us to go- Trap! He told us if we wanted to, we could try to go into the attic. Guys, will you please see if this is a confirmation or not? I'm terrified. This Hang on. I don't know where to just, drop it from. Just drop it on the Wait, ground. Listen. Oh! Ooh, was that it? That was totally it. Oh, that was it. Where the f did it come from? It had to be right there. Yeah, is there the any shelf? other cans on the shelf? Yeah, small, yeah. There's no f way that that happened. Is that like a can of, what is that, SpaghettiOs? Tr slide it off of there, or like toss Raviolis. it off. Raviolis. Toss it Dude. off. Dude! Toss it off? Yeah. Oh. Dude, is that what we heard? That was totally it. This is way too f***ed up, man. That was definitely it. That sounds pretty f close. It does. I but think that was it. Also, they chose raviolis, and I f***ing love raviolis. Like, to be serious? That's f***ing scary. They did say this, like, most of the f that I moves and this? flies around is in there. Am I able to move this camera? Stay with me. Stay with me. Am I able to move this camera this way? I don't know, because what if something happens down here, and we're not in here? What if the can falls again? If if the can did fall? We gotta know. ask the family, I mean, they know. Before I, they left, they know. I highly doubt that they left a can of ravioli on and That's what I'm saying, but still. My question is, have they ever had raviolis fall off the shelf? Oh, like other food <laughs> flying around? Well, yeah. If something, somebody, knocked that can off that shelf and you can do it again at any point in time throughout tonight, please do it again. My knees are shaking. Should we look in the attic? Should yeah, we how do we get up there? I don't though? know how the f we would do that. Yeah. But not only that. They said trap. They said trap. Attic hides. The only one who will actually fit in there is you. Pretty much. Just to be honest. Do you want to look? I mean, let's go to it. I think we need a ladder. If we hear that f***ing loud noise again, you know what it is. Yeah. If we find that can or a can on the ground, we'll know what it is. Let's just look at the attic. I want to show everybody how skinny this thing actually is. The only person who can really fit is Wyatt. If we did it. So what you're, I think what you're actually trying to say is that you would rather Wyatt go. Wait. Is that, that's it, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm here to warn you. Whoa! Did you knock down the can? Was that you? Guys, there's some weird noises coming up. Right behind me. What? What's that? That was weird. I felt like somebody just poked me in my eye. I didn't poke you. I mean, it like, could've just been like a random hair or something, but that was like kind of a hard jab. I wonder if they were trying to scare us though, because it kept saying leave. I don't know, leave. man. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's definitely. Definitely. They're like trying to get us to get out. You want us to leave, don't you? Is it because we're finding out? Huh? I lost it. I lost it. The item. The item, or I lost it back there. I threw something. I don't know. What do you mean you lost it? Can you tell us what it was? As I was trying to say, guys, I mean, they're telling us that they want us to leave, but... The energy is rising. That makes sense if a can actually did get pushed or thrown. What happens if we don't leave? It's just a question. I feel like if we don't leave, obviously they might just harm us. In one hour. It's been an hour, no? Since they said that, I think like maybe ten more minutes till. Oh, great. What if one of us gets choked? Mm -hmm. Is there something in the attic? Maybe something that belongs to you. I'm gonna close this door again. Figure. Figure. 
Can that man that shows himself to the children, the one who smiles or changes his form, can you show yourself to us? If you can do that for us, we can leave. I'm good. I don't want to see him. I do. Or throw something again for us? We've been told you like to do that. Guys, I can't believe we just heard a loud bang. We go in the kitchen and there's a can of raviolis on the ground. I know. You want to know something even crazier? What? You remember how in the commercial, the Chef Boyardee, the can moves on its own? <laughs> but I love Chef. I'm just saying, what if it's a real thing? What do you- Something stirs. Something stirs? Something stirs. What do you want with the mother of this home? Can we get back onto that topic? Please. You might not like this, but you do not have any permission to harm her or her family. You can't do that. False. 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 Um. No, you can't. You can't tell me no. Try and tell me no again. Uh, are you good, right? I don't know. I'm trying to help this family. Bedroom. Oh! Bedroom. There's only one bedroom in this house. How do we reason with you? You want us to find an item? Something that you're connected to? You're attached to? That maybe brought you into this house? That's in the bedroom, no? No. That's back there. What if it's- The little boy likes you. Hmm? The Is there oh. actually a little boy here? Wait a minute, guys. <gasps> the little show. boy loves our show! Guys, dude! Shh! That's Power. Power. Person. Person. Oh my god, my body is chilled. Yes, we know. We like him too. That's a big reason why we're here. Because we want to make sure he is okay. He is safe. This family is safe. So what do you want? That's crazy. You can't stay. You, you can't, can't stay. stay. That's crazy that it said that. Dude, I am mind blown. I don't know. I am mind blown right now. Was that the door? In the back. In the back. If you knock something down, can you do it again? Shadows move. Dude, was that the door again? Shadows move. You're hearing that, yeah? Yeah. You will live. You will live. That's twice. Can somebody please tell us who that man with the hammer is? If we have any attachments, now's the time to scare this entity here. Come on, Kevin. Be careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. What the f Come on, Kevin. Just do it. Trinity. Just do it, Kevin. Make sure this entity does not harm this family. What's up, what? I said Trinity. It keeps saying three. Three. Her dreams, 333. Three. Oh, my f There is no way it just said dream. After you just said dreams. The witching hour, three o'clock. Injury. That's Injury? The woman knows she was injured. It's the mocking of the Trinity. Three, 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 three knocks. That's what demonic likes to do. Are you trying to harm the mother here? Moving away. Don't move away. Come talk to us, please. We're trying to be respectful. What do you want with her? Why are you showing her things in her dreams? Why are you hurting the father of this family and scaring the children? You all right, what? Dude, it's, I feel like I'm I know, bro. I'm feeling this like, like a needle going in my knee. Look on shelf. Look on shelf. Where? Return. Return. <gasps> the item. Look on shelf, return. Does the family maybe know what it is? Look on shelf. Trance. Trapped! 
from the item. Look on shelf, item, trapped. I know you. I know you. We will hurt. We will hurt. Again, that's twice too. This is back to back right here. Uh-huh. Made a sound. Made a sound. What item? What does it look like? What if it's something in the display case? I heard it rattling earlier when yeah. we started. Is it a hammer? Is that you? Nope, that was not me. Come on, we feel like we're getting really close. What are we missing? There's gotta be an item somewhere here that, you know, got brought in maybe a while ago, long time ago, maybe from the family. Something that was given a gift they brought into the home and now things have been happening. It's so weird though, like, if it is something that's attached to this item, I mean, it's sounding like there's more than one spirit in here, but the negative one at least, what's with the hammer? You think this might be a different entity or spirit? Other spirit. Spirit? You think this is a different spirit that is talking to us right now that's attached to something? Right, maybe. And not the hat man with the hammer? Yeah. Is this not the one with the hat and the hammer who's talking to us? Not so. Not so. So this is somebody else. Is this Marie? Wow, dude, there's multiple spirits here. They said 13. That came from the mom's dream. That is so wild. In Trinity, after I was trying to explain the 333. I don't know. It's That's four times now. That's not the display case, is it? I don't think so, man. It sounds like it's literally like right on this wall or the door. The door? It's not windy out. No. It's attached to you. <clears throat> Alright, you guys want to go? That was the plan. They have seen me. What? They have seen me. They have seen me! That's right! Uh, I think this is him. I was asking him to show us. Yeah. The man with the hat, right? You're here. Talk to us. Pieces. Please make yourself known. Wait a minute, guys. Is this? Uh, guys? What? It just said basement. And although this place doesn't have a basement, the kid sees this entity go right down. Are you under the house? Imagine it says crawl space. Hammer. River must go under. Ryan must go instead of him. Instead of Ryan, it must be Wyatt. I want to point out real quick how none of the devices are going off. Something's going on. Mm -hmm. I came from a dark place. Whoa! Where is that? How did you end up here then? It says the crawl space. We're not going to be spending much more time here because the family needs to come back. They want to know if they can figure something out with you so that you stop hurting them and stop scaring them. Is that possible? Can we figure something out? The dark man. The dark man. Yes. Dark man. We're talking to you. That was a knock right behind me. Open window. Open window. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want us to open a window? Why? Is it so you can- Stop talking. Dude, this dark entity is kind of a This is helping me. Disagree. What the f dude? Are they talking to each other right now? To the other spirits here, are you able to overpower this dark entity? Can you help this family? Is that possible? It is said that there are 13 of you, maybe including the dark shadow entity. Scientists. The item again, no? Yeah. Maybe they're saying this. Here. 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 Find it here. Healthy. Sister. Maybe they're saying that this is the only way they can get rid of him. God. Find it. What? The device just said sister. Jasmine. It said that like three or four times today. You think? Do you want the sister to find it? Or does she know maybe where it is? But why, why? Why would it say sister multiple times when she's the one who first did an investigation here, got a lot of information, and then sent us here to try and collect more information? 
Either that or... It's her brother's house. In the dreams, there were 13 women. What if they were sisters? That could be it. I don't know. It, this is just all so weird, so confusing. Church bell tolls. Warning. Warning. 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock, guys. It's 12, is it really? 12 or 7. Wait a minute. In one hour, choking. Warning, 12 o'clock. And also said church bell. Isn't that a thing at 12? That is a thing! Church bell tolls 12 o'clock. What are you trying to say? What if one of us starts to choke to death? Oh, I see say like that. No, I'm just saying, because they've been trying to get us to leave. What if they make one of us want to choke each other? Because that's what the dad was saying. Mm -hmm. Makes men angry. Uh huh. What do we do, guys? I don't know. I don't know, cause. Well, first things first. They wanted information, okay? We got lots of information. That's what was very important, okay? The next step is to talk to them and try and find out if they do want to try again. It's not just me. To get the negative out. Now we know that the wife, the mother, is being pinpointed here. So that's information we can give them. I feel 100% confident that we can tell them what we got. There's obviously multiple spirits here. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what else to do. There's an item here that one of them are attached to. You got Marie. <laughs> we might have to come back here with a garden hoe. There legit might be something down there. But what if it's like deep? You know what I'm saying? He said it's been here for a hundred years. That's well before this house was here. You know what I'm saying? That could be like multiple oh feet my God. under the ground. <laughs> That's crazy. Is that why the hat man's able to travel through the floor? This item, is it underground? Is it under this house? What if we found a hammer under the house, man? What if we did? That would scare the out of me. I'd also want to keep it. Dude, that would be some of the craziest evidence because we've already gotten so much information. Ooh. That wasn't me. That was not me. You saw I didn't do mm -hmm. Are you right there? I don't like this. Many spirits. Many spirits. How many? You're all just watching us, huh? My adrenaline is starting to pump. I'm honestly getting really drained. We're gonna go ahead and make our way out of here. We're gonna have the family come back. If there is anybody here that can help protect them, please. Of course. Hey, whoa! Will you? Can you tap that device on the ground, please? Can you do it again, if that is a yes? That? No. That's not Wait. a confirmation. I don't know what the f else would be. That is crazy. What do you guys think we should do? We should get them back over here and try and tell them what's going on. We're gonna have to. Like, we might actually have to come back. I mean, that's up to them. We've gathered information. We know that this house has something going on. Okay, we know that the family has unfortunate stuff happen to them. Now we gotta figure out what the next step will be. Well, that's going under the house and digging something up. But what if we go under the house, start digging, and can't find what, what I'm saying, it could be like so f deep in there, if it really is from a hundred years ago, like they said. That's what makes it so hard. 1930s. That's a hundred years ago almost. What I'm I see it. Out of nowhere, it just started dying. We're gonna make our way out of here. I just want to thank all the spirits here. Whoever's been talking to us, I want to thank you. You gave us information, and that's what we came for. Are you guys ready? I don't want to stir too much more up, okay? Yeah, the goal is to come in here and get information and not stir up. Yeah. We're trying not to make things worse for the family because they have to deal with it every single day. We only had to deal with it for hours. And it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Bye. Whoa! Bye! What the f***? <laughs> Smudge. Oh, smudge. That's what got this thing upset. Mm -hmm. Is because they tried that. We need to figure out a different way as well when we come back. This is f 
crazy, man. Okay, so the plan is we are going to meet back up with the family, give them the information. If you guys do want us to make a return here, please like this video. That lets us know that that is what you want us to do. Whether we film it or not, we're going to come back here, figure out what we need to do, and see if we can help. I mean, at most, contact somebody who knows more about smudging and cleansing homes and making sure that they could get rid of this evil entity here. Whatever we can do, that's what's important. But if you guys would like to see more, please leave a like on the video. Let's get this video to 40,000 likes and maybe we can continue doing uh, family nightmare episodes. With all that being said, we love each and every one of you guys. If you are not subscribed to this channel yet, you keep finding yourselves coming back or you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. We are on our way to 1 million subscribers and with your guys' help, we can accomplish everything. You guys ready to meet back up with the family? We just both turned the same Yeah, that was pretty cool. With all that being said, we will see you next week. Peace. I've been in your world.